Hey there guys, what is going on? Today I wanted to talk a little bit what we can expect to see in Season 5 of Cold War. Very, very exciting time to be a Call of Duty fan. I think it's about 10 days away now. I'm actually 100% sure of the exact date where this is going to drop. Usually it's a Thursday afternoon, my time. And I think it is about 10-ish days away, so it's not too far away for Season 5. We're going to be talking about what we can expect in terms of guns, what we can expect in terms of maps, score streaks maybe, and a bit of weapon balancing would be nice as well. Just before we do get into talking about the Season 5 content that we can expect here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate that, and it really does help me out. I know about 90% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed, so if you do want to find your way back here, come back and watch any of the videos, make sure you do hit that little red button. So let's talk about the Season 5 stuff here. So the first thing I want to talk about is what possible weapons we could be receiving. Normally we receive two, three weapons, one usually in the middle of the season. Normally we see two in the battle pass and that's pretty standard. And then we usually see maybe an extra one or, and definitely something else in the middle of the season. So something that I would like to see is that combination of the new Call of Duty and the current Call of Duty again, as you know. We have actually seen leaks and stuff that the new Call of Duty is going to be Call of Duty World War II Vanguard. So it would actually be really, really cool to see some sort of World War II weapons come back into the game. There was that little crossover that they did earlier with the Puppy Shard PPSH-41 coming back into the game and everyone was like, hey, this is, we're onto something here. So again, following that same train of thought, we could see something like an MP40. It's been a little while since we've seen an MP40 in a Call of Duty game, and that would be a very, very cool addition, man. I know it is sort of similar to some of the other weapons that we have seen previously, but that'd be a pretty cool addition, I think. Slightly slow firing SMG. Decent damage, still a fun weapon. And then the Stig 44, the STG 44, we've seen a gun like this in every single World War II game. Really, really fun weapon to use. Basically just a hard-hitting assault rifle. A cool weapon that would be a great addition to this game as well. Including Cold War, really, really fun stuff that we would like to see. Even something like a Thompson would be quite nice. That sort of fast-firing SMG style. Again, we are probably going to end up seeing these if World War II Vanguard is the next Call of Duty. We are probably going to see all these weapons again anyway. But I mean, having them be in Cold War as well and eventually into Warzone 2 would be really, really cool. Then something like an M1 Garand, that's pretty much a staple of literally every World War II game. It's got that ping, you know the sound I'm talking about, that that ringing, that ping sound is really, really iconic with this, and seeing that in the game would be kind of cool as well. We actually haven't seen a single shot weapon like in the tactical rifle category for a little while here, so that'd be pretty cool. Then again, something like an AN-94, that is a fan favorite that we have seen from previous Call of Duty games. Even the last one that it was in wasn't the best in Modern Warfare, but again, having something like that being Cold War will be super exciting as well. And then a little bit of an outsider pick that I'd like to see is an M8A1. I want to see that come back because it was one of the best weapons in Black Ops 2. Having a four-burst assault rifle or even a four-burst tactical rifle in this game would be so, so cool. Again, I'm not really 100% sure exactly which of these we are going to see, but I would like to see them sort of go down that World War II route again. That'd be pretty cool. So make sure you do leave a comment. Let me know what weapons you do want to see. Normally people just go with like an AN-94, an MP40, an M8A1, something like that. So just let me know what you think here. Next, we do want to talk about some of the maps that we can expect. Now, I've seen things that show leaks that we are getting two maps in this particular update. That being Plaza, which is a very, very cool map from Black Ops 2. And then Yemen, also from Black Ops 2. Now, we will flash up screenshots on the screen of these maps if you don't know what they are. But Plaza is a very, very cool map that definitely is going to play very, very nicely. Now, I can actually see Plaza having this similar sort of aesthetic to something like the Pines, the mall map that we have seen in this game. I think it's going to look very, very similar to that if we do end up seeing Plaza in Cold War. I think it's going to be very, very cool. I love that sort of 80s aesthetic with all those shops like a record store. like All the stuff that we saw in the Pines that could go easily into Plaza and be very, very cool. That's a cool map. If you don't remember it, again, here's a little screenshot for you. Again, we have also seen talks of Yemen being added to the game, and this is going to be a map that, if added to the game in Cold War, is going to be so, so clean. This is a really, really fun map. Again, if you don't know what Yemen is, I will flash up a screenshot. Some of you guys might not have actually played Black Ops 2, but both of these maps that were in Black Ops 2 were very, very cool. And another map that I would absolutely love to see in this game, which was a DLC map from, again, Black Ops 2, would be Grind. I mean, with the addition of Rush recently, these maps, man, like this style of map is just so, so popular. Just the Black Ops 2 maps have been playing super, super well in that game for literally years. You can go to Black Ops 2 now if you could find a game and play those maps and you'd still be super impressed with them. So grind would be something that I would absolutely love to see. We're still yet to see firing range. We're still yet to see summit, which is a little bit of a surprise in this. We are actually running out of season for them to add these old maps. So if we don't see that very soon, we might not end up seeing it in this year's Call of Duty. Maybe, maybe the next one, but probably not. In terms of something else that I would like to see, score streaks again, and another addition to the score streak thing they did add last season, which was, of course, the hand cannon. Very, very goofy looking thing. That was so, so fun. And the attack dogs are something that I would love to see back in this game. I mean, they did actually add the hand cannon and the nuke, which is kind of cool. 
But the attack dogs would just be so, so cool in this game. I think there's not really anything like that at the top tier of the sorceries at the moment. Mostly because they're all sort of like, you actually have to get into a vehicle to use them. It's like, that's pretty much it. So something that's sort of automated just goes around and does its thing for itself would be very, very cool to see here. The next thing that I want to see out of season five is some weapon balancing. Now we haven't actually seen a weapon balancing pack for a little while. The last thing that we saw was the increase or set of change zoom from the iron sights or some of the assault rifles in this game. And that's a fine change, but there is a particular weapon in the assault rifle category that you and I both know is absolute trash. And that is the C58. I want to see some buffs for the C58. I talk about this all the time. The C58 is just such an absolutely terrible weapon in this game. We just want to see some changes to make this thing usable. Like, give it a three-shot kill. Give it that headshot multiplier that means it can get a three-shot kill. Give this thing such good recoil that it's very, very easy to hit those shots with that slow fire rate. Don't change that. I am okay with a high damaging sort of slow fire rate assault rifle. It's just in this game when the damage is sort of lackluster, you're getting a four-shot kill, five-shot kill with this thing. It just doesn't get that job done because you do have to hit all those shots and when the slow fire rate, that's actually kind of tough. So again, we want to see buffs for the C58. That would be absolutely fantastic for this thing. Maybe see some sort of recoil changes or something like a little bit of a MAC-10, maybe just a little, little tweak to the MAC-10 to make it a little easier to use, but that might actually make it overpowered as it is pretty good already, but that's sort of something that I would like to see. And then maybe a recoil change to the FFAR1 as well, bring that slightly back into line with some of the other assault rifles as it is still fun to use, but making it slightly easier would also be a good thing. And then maybe, maybe we might end up seeing another sniper added to the game. It's been, it's not been too long since we saw another sniper, but you know, those weapons in this game are always super popular, very, very fun to use, and the current meta of the snipers is the Swiss K31 and the M82, so it wouldn't actually surprise me if they did end up adding another sniper to get that to change up a little bit, but we'll have to wait and see with that. But again, weapon balancing is the tip top of my list. I always look out for weapon balancing at the start of most of the patch notes, man. That's the thing I'm probably most keen about, just being able to get new weapons added to this, new weapons added to this game. They're not really new additions, but when you do take something that is absolutely terrible, like the C58, and make it actually usable, that's like a new weapon in the game. So it's a really, really cool addition that I would like to see. Of course, we will end up probably seeing some new mellow weapon stuff, which would be fairly interesting. I mean, it's the same old stuff. You get like a bat, you get like a mace, you get like a, a flail would be cool. That'd be kind of cool if they could animate the chain, donk people over the head with it. That'd be pretty cool. I'd like to see that. But then again, adding a new perk or two might also be cool. We have seen quick fix in previous Call of Duty games. You get a kill and your health does start regenerating or you get two kills and your health goes back up to full. I think that would actually be very, very cool to see. Like that's actually an interesting thing to add to the game. But then they'd probably have to add more. They'd probably have to add three perks if they were going to add one. Like having a little bit of an imbalance in the perk numbers would be kind of weird. So we will have to wait and see with how we go with that. But I mean, that's pretty much all I want to see out of season five. There's not too many things that I'm actually after here. Just a couple of weapons, a couple of good maps, maybe a score streak or two. And definitely buff the C58 here, man. That's all I want to see. But again, if you did enjoy this one, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. If there's something you want to see in the season five patch, make sure you do let me know. We'll have a talk about it always in the comment section. I love chatting to you guys. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye.